Hello, Brian McCarthy here from Bold and Break. It has been a very long time, but I'm back. Um, and I'm going to give you a hundred excuses as to why I wasn't able to make a video. So we don't get straight into the tutorial because that's why you're here, right? To listen to me, right? I'm joking. Let's get started finally and continue our retro series. Uh, volumes we're going to talk about we're going to do this in maybe a two-part series maybe three let's see how we get on okay so we have our basic setup here we have no lights yet we have no textures this is going to be super simple we're not going to be texturing much um, I have just made this default texture which I'm actually going to stick on the, and it looks awful right now we're going to put a sky in our scene we're going to go redshift object sun and sky rig cool now let's have some light come down the center here okay that's nice yes this is exactly what i want cool so we've rotated our sun um we haven't done anything to our sky but now to add the volumetric lighting we're going to go to object environment and immediately blown out by this white foggy light so we want to bring this down to one and we lessen the amount of strength so i, I kind of want to explain what volumetric lighting is because there are so many tutorials out there just to tell you what buttons to press and it's better to know what it is to understand the context of it it looks cool why does it look cool it adds mood to scenes why do people why do people use this so how volumetric lighting works is in the real world because this is what this is replicating we have atmosphere um, and light needs to travel through the atmosphere and in the atmosphere we have particles and um, sometimes we have a buildup of moisture and that will build up fog so and that's called the medium and when light travels through as there's a buildup of those particles uh light reacts differently so you get this kind of dense uh fog and 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 light comes through it and you get these kind of moody uh situations they add so much drama to your scene they add so much mystique to scene and a good way to reference how to use volumetric lighting is go back and watch some movies you know that kind of gives you an idea of where volumetric lighting comes from and to just think of that when you're setting up your scene or you're adjusting certain um, properties so scattering basically controls the strength of your vo volumetric lighting we're going to only use going to play with these three for now so attenuation is is a combination of strength and how much light is lost within this medium so you know if you have more scattering let's turn our attenuation up here yes so we're losing more light within the volumes of this scene with within the fog and volumetric lighting if you add more let's say let's just take away a zero and we bring up our attenuation even more you'll see that the fog isn't as bright. So that's what the attenuation is doing. It's kind of taking down the strength of that light. And then phase, you can kind of see it like a diffusion. Diffusion of the light, how far the light spreads out, how the light interacts within this fog. Um, and it's a very experimental thing. So, you know, we bring it down, there's not much, but you know, that's a look, you know, that's into the void. Um, you bring it up it's kind of you know and that that's interesting there's a bit there's a bit of depth to this but if we bring our attenuation then back down our fog brightens um and if we bring our phase back to zero so you can see with just playing with these values you get very very different looks and there's kind of a dense industrial feel about this now uh, we're going to make the scene look a little bit better. We're going to actually just go for a really warm orange vibe to the scene. Let's actually make this brighter. Maybe here. 
and then bring our phase back down to zero and our attenuation down bring that brightness up okay okay cool now we have this really foggy scene if we turn off our environment you can see what's happening which is quite nice another thing to note here which is very important is redshift doesn't attenuate dome lights or, f or physical skylights um and you'll get so if you have different lights in your scene and you pl tweak the attenuation it, redshift will not attenuate uh, the light coming from the sun and sky so you it's best if you're going to kind of play with that attenuation is to bring in another light a point light a point light or an area light okay so let's just keep playing with this it's kind of a morning look and then let's bring that up there um, and another thing we can do is potentially yes we want to bring up our sun to scale to soften everything so you see here bring it down to one It'd be nice to see the shadows here these lampposts i want to just soften out some of this because when you have a lot of fog in the scene you might actually not get as much shadow because the light isn't as strong so let's just there we go cool okay and uh, let's then bring our volume scattering up let's bring this to five maybe it's too much again to actually play with the attenuation so as i said it's only going to attenuate the fog really it's not attenuating any light coming in from the sun so basically what redshift is saying is once the volume as light then it attenuates only the light in that volume it's attenuating nothing else in that scene so to give a visual example because that always helps let's bring in a area light let's make this huge and here i love these kind of looks because of course they look very cool okay let's do that here let's move up so we're not yeah, okay so let's bring this down to zero so this is attenuating the light coming from that area light it's not just attenuating the light within the volumetric it's maybe better to add lights within your scene if you're going to use attenuation because then there's more of a kind of a fluid flow to how the volumetric lighting works like that's a that's much softer it's falling off much nicer so let's actually no, take that let's rotate our light here let's come up and this is another example of how the attenuation is going to work. So if we bring down our spread we need to 0.5. I get this almost like spotlight effect. Um, and our attenuation to zero. So you can see very quickly that the strength is being lost a little bit here and the light isn't traveling through in such a dramatic fashion but if we change the phase we get more diffusion like i said so you get, see that diffusion coming out there with the attenuation so the attenu by using the attenuation I'm, I'm lessening the strength in that area in that area alone and then by using the phase i'm diffusing what light is left within that volume so it gets very complicated very quickly and we're only using for this video we're only using the general settings i haven't even touched you know any of this stuff okay so you, you get different looks using different types of lights and you know changing the light settings um and there's a whole plethora of things you know to consider when using volumes you know is there glass in your scene and um, so we're going to just take a quick look at our render settings here let's just actually bring up our scattering by through so we get just a bit of a brighter scene 
Um, bring our attenuation down a little bit. Bring this back down to 0.2 maybe. Okay, cool. Now we have this scene. Now, there's a lot of samples and noise, you know, that we need to get rid of. How do we do that? And of course, there is only one way, and that is using the advanced sampling menu. And the first thing we want to target is our volumes. And, you know, ramp that up as high as you can. Not everyone's going to be able to ramp it up this high. Completely understand. That's why we have um, denoising. And the next thing you want to definitely ramp up is your light. So the light and volumes are very, very inter interlinked when rendering in this scene. So if we were to do a bucket render here, um, it's quite fast actually. Yes, there is noise and grain, but there is very little coming from our light. Um, let's give our ambient occlusion just, you know, base 512 we don't have any much reflection or refraction so we'll just leave that as it is global illumination you know light bounce i think we we you need it in volumes um it definitely will help let's see what happens when we turn it off you're just not getting the nice spread you're not getting the the orange scattered light bounce as you would you can already see that tint's coming off it's not the end of the world if you can't use global illumination, especially for kind of a more silhouetted scene like this. Um, but if you're in a room or, you know, you're outdoors and there's more objects, global illumination might just add and lift the scene a little bit. Um, I think much of the, a lot of the noise is actually coming from RGI. We're going to put this to brute force. We're going to... Okay. We're getting rid of a lot of noise here. This is also rendering at 720, I think. So let's bring it up to 1920 by 1080. Okay, and there's still a bit of grain in the scene, but you know, your main target is always going to be your volumes, maybe your ambient occlusion to a degree, and then your GI if it's on. Um, it's very difficult to have a super clean volumetric scene because it is volumetric lighting it is trying to replicate you know thick dusty particle atmosphere so we're getting some banding here i can see but that could be to do with our host effect okay so that's kind of the intro to volumes um i'm gonna do a second video on it i'm not gonna use such a simple scene i'm gonna try and be a m more thorough and have more context you know i might set up a very difficult scene thank you for watching and hopefully it will not be as long for the next video i would encourage everyone to go to jb motion who is a fellow irish mographer who i am doing a collaboration with what we're both doing our quick tips in cinema 4d i'm doing five he's doing five do check out his channel and um, i'll notify everyone when that video is up please subscribe like thank you for watching and goodbye